Okay, you're gonna think I'm really over, gone over the top now, and I'm being really silly. But if you could smell this, and if you had <laughs> memories that I have of living in an ashram, and and seeing this, and smelling this, and being remi reminded of um, waking up at four o'clock in the morning and going to the kitchen and um, helping chop vegetables and, and prepare uh, this breakfast cereal for the devotees of the guru in this ashram. Um, you'd be having a flashback like I'm having right now. I found this recipe on the internet a long time ago, years ago, maybe five years ago. And um, I had been missing this cereal at that point in time and thought, you know, I'd like to make some just to have a memory. And, uh, and that's why I've made it now, too, but also for other reasons. I'm going to go on a fast starting next week, and I think um, this is going to become one of, th one of the meals that I'm going to allow myself to eat will be this this special um, cereal called it's called Baba Muktananda's sour cereal so anyway I was putting all my you know my ingredients together <laughs> this morning and um, and I was thinking God this just doesn't seem like it's gonna be the how is this gonna work but I tell you, I got to this one point when I threw... Okay, you start out cooking the, the bulgur. And there's actually different different grains you can use. You can use millet. You can use steel cut oats. Uh, I chose to use bulgur today, at least, because um, it cooks more quickly. I've made it with millet before, and millet takes a really long time to cook. Um, and then you make this uh, side preparation called the masala, which is a combination of um, dates and a fresh tomato and some chili peppers and some fresh ginger and coconut flakes and um, let's see what else was there. I think that was mainly it. And you puree that and when I added that to the cereal then the pungency rose and I was like, oh my god, this is it. And so then, to, to top it off, I, I got a tape of, well, it's not a tape, but I got um, some music of, of Baba Muktananda chanting, which is what we used to actually hear inside the ashram in the kitchen when we would be preparing this. And then we would sit quietly and eat this before we would go to the, the main hall and chant the Guru Gita. This is all before sunrise, um, every day of the year, in in Muktananda's ashrams. And um, can you see the title there? It's called Devi Argelo Stotram by Swami Muktananda. Anyway, I just was really excited, and I just wanted to share that with somebody. While well, I felt the excitement, because I was going to make it again tomorrow, and maybe I'll make it again tomorrow, and show you the all the steps. Um, Make it a recipe. Make a video recipe. All right? Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Oh, and if you could taste this, I wish you could taste it. Oh, and there's one other thing, too. You add um, chopped fresh cilantro and um, onions. And the other thing you add to it is uh, brewer's yeast. And I'll tell you, the brewer's yeast added on top of it really makes this amazing. It's a very healthy dish. There's nothing unhealthy about it. Okay, bye!